Hello. Today we're going to disassemble uh, Lenovo laptop. The model is uh, T430. The laptop is working, but uh, I think it's got a liquid damage. Some of the keys are not working and the touchpad is not working. Probably I'll have to replace the keyboard, but I have to check the things with the touchpad, so I have to open the laptop either way. And decide to make a video, so let's start. This may be a little longer video because I really have no idea how to open this thing. So we'll just begin by removing the screws. We have to open here the hard drive it's a bit weird the hard drive is under the USB 3 port so just slide it up now we need to remove the optical drive and let's remove the rest of the screws pay attention on the screws because I think on this model they're not the same different size so Just pay attention, the longer screws are on the upper side and the rest I think this one won't, don't want to come off, it will fall when we flip the laptop. There's a few screws here which are holding the keyboard, we have to remove them also. We have one here under the battery. Now we're gonna flip the laptop. And we'll try to move the keyboard. Yeah, this one goes up, I think like this just be careful with the cable it's on this side here so just use your fingers and remove it we can see the liquid damage from this side so let's Let's continue, we have to remove the cables for the wireless model.
now we have two down here probably we're gonna lift the whole plastic up one of the removed We're going to use something sharp to start separating the plastic. It's all sticky. Forget a screw. Mm. I don't think so. Okay. Just separate the plastic on both sides and it should now we have to be careful with the touchpad here. Also the cables are underneath the touchpad, so use something just to pull them up like this. And now we have to slide the cover back a little bit now in order to continue I think we have to remove the display also we're gonna remove the, the metal cover here which is holding the LCD cable and we're gonna probably lift it up yeah like this we have to disconnect here a cable which is probably for the camera or the backlight I really have no idea now we have left a screw on each side so we have to remove it also now we're gonna leave the display and the display is out now we have a bunch of screws we have to remove also but first we have to remove the speaker here because it's above the the cooler and we have to remove this also I'm gonna leave it like that I don't need the cover we just want to leave the, the casing like this now we have to remove a few of the screws here we have to disconnect the speakers also now we have to remove the cooler because we have to leave the whole plastic we have to disconnect the connector here
now the Wi-Fi card it's also have to be removed Now I think we remove all the screws. Let's double check again. So now we have to start separating the casing. Did we forget a screw? Ah, uh, yeah. The one here. It's holding the back case. Yeah, finally. There is a little sign here of liquid damage. Now we have to remove all the screws in order to remove the board. Those two screws also. Those screws are very tight. Be careful. Basically that's the whole procedure, I hope you got the idea, now I'll look the board under the microscope to check for some liquid damage and after that I have to reassemble it, probably you will ask will there be a reassembly video, I doubt, 
because I have to do the things quicker and uh, while I'm filming the things are not going as smoothly as I want so basically that's the whole procedure if you just want to replace the thermal paste you don't need to do the last steps you just remove the cooler clean the old CPU with, uh, with some alcohol apply the new thermal paste and just put the back the palm rest cover and the keyboard back again put all the screws back and that's the whole thing i hope you find the video useful like and subscribe if you do bye bye for now